G'day guys, welcome back to Motor Rider Australia. Uh, today I've noticed that my bike's quite dirty and I've also noticed the chain is really thick and greasy so today seems like the best day to clean them both. So we're going to go through and do that and uh, let's get to it. Now thanks to Al from The Daily Ride for tagging me uh, in a post when some guys were selling some uh, Oxford wheel stands. So uh, I basically can't ch uh, clean the chain properly without uh, using some Oxford stand. So this will allow you to turn your wheel while you're cleaning the chain, making it so much easier uh, and doing a better job. So uh, thanks Al from The Daily Ride for that. All right, so you wanna make sure that uh, before you clean the chain, you prepare everything that you need to clean it. So obviously you can see I've got cloths down here. I've even got a tarpaulin just to save the uh, splashes going on the concrete. Uh, three products that I'm using. Uh, heavy duty degreaser from uh, Super Cheap Auto. You can also use kerosene as well. Just straight kerosene will do the same job. Uh, and after the chain's completely cleaned, we can move on and uh, put some Belray chain lubricant or whatever chain lubricant that you have got. Uh, to lube the chain. So uh, we're going to go right ahead and do that now. Welcome back to the channel guys. Uh, I'm not a happy camper because I did a, a big video on cleaning the chain uh, straight after I washed my bike. Uh, and what happened is the SD card on the camera I was using shit itself and it didn't save any of the footage. So my chain is actually clean right now but you didn't get to see it. Basically what I did though is I sprayed the chain and then using the cloth, I went through and gave it a clean. So next time I clean the chain, I'll make sure I get it on video for you. But uh, yeah, the chain is actually clean right now. So uh, the bike's dry. And what we're gonna do now is uh, go through and uh, I'll show you guys how to oil the chain. So what I want to do is zoom in on the chain so you can actually see what I'm doing. Now when it comes to chains, you can see that there's a an outer edge, just get my fat finger out of the way. You can see an outer edge. Uh, right there. And then you can see the inner edge, which is on the, the other side just there. So we want to spray on that, that edge there and also on that edge there. Uh, and then what we want to do is we want to get to... So that's the inside of the chain on both sides. But what we want to do is also get to the outside of the chain as well, which will be at the top of the chain. So you can probably... Just see the top of the chain just there. And you can see the left hand side and the right hand side of the top of the chain. So we want to spray oil on both those sides. So that'll give it a, a good a good grease. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so that's where we want that. So as I said earlier, I'm gonna be using the uh, the bell ray chain lubricant. Right, let's go ahead and do this. So I'll start with that edge just there. Actually. We want to make sure we don't put oil on our wheel as well. So I'll have that just there. And just while you're spraying, just give the wheel a turn. Pretty much 
pretty much until you get to the other side of the chain, which I've done. And then you want to start on the other side of the chain and give that side a spray as well. Now I would say that that's pretty good. And from here, I'll come around this side here to the outer wheel. It's always fun doing uh, chain oiling because you never really know where that oil is going, apart from what you can see. So we're going to have to get a cloth and wipe that down afterwards. Now I'm pretty happy that the, uh, the inside, the outside, the top and the bottom of the chain has been done in, <coughs> in actual fact. Let's just zoom out a little bit. I'm actually seeing it starting to drip just there as well, which is probably an indication that I've <coughs> either put a little bit too much on. <sighs> so from here, I'm pretty much just going to wipe it down dry now. Or as dry as I can get it as well without it taking the oil residue off. You can see that it's actually starting to stick now which is good that's what you want to see so I just want to work that through now I've got a little bit of oil on the tyre as well, so that's something I have to take care of before I go for a ride. Now if you guys do a better job than me at oiling your chain, please leave a comment because, you know, sometimes we think we know, but uh, other people have been doing it better. So leave a comment and uh, let me know what your thoughts are. Thanks for joining us today, guys. Talk to you soon.